This video is going to be an unboxing and look at the pluggable USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station. We'll start here with just a very quick look at the box. It lists the basic features, the basic interface, and really not much else. Here's what actually comes in the box. Up top, you have the docking station itself. It feels like a nice solid unit. Around this side, we have nothing. Around this side, we have a microphone and headphone port. And on the back, you have your main ports. We'll take a look at those properly later. But there's a lot of nice interface there. Next, we'll just remove this piece of card. We have here a quick start guide. We'll take a look at that later and a little feedback card, which we will put away. Next up is one of the cables and some of the plug adapters for your power supply. Next, uh, we have another of the USB cables. Then this is a DVI to VGA adapter and a DVI to HDMI adapter. And lastly, here is your wall wart to which you can connect one of those three plugs we saw earlier. Here are some basic step-by-step -step instructions in your quick start guide. Of note is step one, which says download and install the driver. However, for Windows, I thought this was plug and play, so we'll find that out later. Here's everything else that comes in the box. Starting first with one of the USB cables. Uh, this connects the dock to your computer by USB-C, and this one connects it by USB-A, so you can take your choice as to which to use. Here is the included wall wart, which you can use your selected adapter. I'm using the three prong one as I'm in the UK, and that just clips on nice and easily like so. Next up is our DVI to VGA adapter, if you're using a VGA monitor, and then lastly is a DVI to HDMI if you wish to use a second HDMI monitor. Here's the dock itself. As I mentioned earlier, it's a pretty nice solid feeling unit. We have a mic and headphone port on this side. Then on the back, your LAN DVI. And then HDMI, four USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0 the connector port to connect it to your computer, and then the power port. Here's a quick look at my current setup, which is a bit of mess of cables all over the desk, a very basic USB-C dock with other USB uh, appliances plugged directly into my laptop. Starting with these speakers, the Edify M60s, which if you want to see a video about those compared to another pair of mini speakers, please check the link down below. Then we have a mouse, keyboard, a webcam and a microphone, and then we have a printer elsewhere in a cupboard too. Next here we have me just removing everything from my current setup, removing all that mess of cables from on the desk, and I'll be setting up the dock on the desk itself just to make sure that it works before I actually put it in its final spot. I'll be mounting it underneath the desk so it's out the way and a bit tidier. And here I am plugging in all of my USB peripherals into the dock. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, one thing to note uh, that I found when installing them um, is that the USB 3 and USB 2 ports seem to be the opposite way around to each other. So just something to note. And here it is finally being plugged in to the laptop. And of course, being a USB, I plugged it in the wrong way first. And here it all is, all plugged in. With it all plugged in and set up, all the USB devices seem to work, but the second monitor, my main monitor was not working. So I referred to the quick start instructions. I was going to try and install the driver, but then out of nowhere, after about three or four minutes, the monitor just sprung into life, as you will shortly see. And there we go. I was quite surprised, but there we go. It's all up and working. And there it is all set up. 
One thing to note is that for some reason, my microphone was plugged into one of the USB 3 ports initially, but it wasn't receiving enough power. Uh, I moved it into one of the USB 2 ports and then it worked. So just something to note, if you're running a USB microphone, you, you may encounter the same. Here I am trying the setup with my work laptop. Uh, it was important for me that it also worked with my work laptop because I work from home. And there we go. After going through the same process, waiting about three or four minutes. And here's just another quick look at the dock itself before I put it under the desk, I'm mounting it with these command strips. So it will be nicely out of the way and keep my desk nice and clean. So here I am now fiddling around under the desk, just mounting the dock with those command strips, ensuring all the USB peripherals are plugged in and the HDMI cable is all plugged in as well. A bit of cleaning up after that process, those command strips produced a bit of dust. And so with that, here it is. I know it's not the most sleek or modern looking of desk setups, but it's significantly better now, I think, with this all out the way under the desk. There is definitely still some cable management to be done, but I'm much happier with it now. And here it is all plugged in under the desk where it will stay. The power cable connector to the laptop, then all my peripherals plugged in. So that's printer, webcam, speakers, keyboard, mouse, microphone, all nicely plugged in and out the way. And of course the monitor there by HDMI. And here's just another view of that. So I would say all in all, I'm really happy with this item, uh, the pluggable dock. Uh, it's really removed all that cable mess from my desk. Again, as I said before, I know it's not the most sleek or modern of desk setups, but it works for me. I may in due course get one of those monitor light bars to replace that lamp just to make it a little bit more sleek, but everything works. Again, these peripherals, that keyboard particularly is pretty old, but it all still works. Uh, the microphone, everything works. The speakers, it all works perfectly fine. The only thing I will note is that I think because probably because my laptop is quite old, the response from my main monitor is a little slower than it was when it was plugged directly in via HDMI, but it's not enough to bother me. I don't play games or do anything that would require there to be really quick response time. So for me, that's not really an issue. Uh, so generally for me, this dock has completely served its purpose. If you've got this far, thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions about the dock, please do pop them down in the comments below.